Hey everyone, Paul here from Ortho Eval Pal. Has anybody ever told you that their knee buckles? Um, when I, as a therapist, see patients and they tell me that their knee buckles, I always want to kind of figure out what kind of buckling it is because there are different types. Now, there are different reasons why people buckle at the knee, okay? They could have had an injury. Maybe they were struck on the side of the knee. Maybe their knee gave out while they were running and changing directions. Some people just have a simple swelling in the knee or some pain in the knee behind the kneecap or inside that causes the knee to give out, okay? So, one of the ways that the knee can buckle is, and I asked this question, does your knee buckle like this and then fall straight ahead and then come back or kind of buckle back and then go forward like that? Or does the knee buckle inward like this and then back out where it feels wobbly side to side? Those who have the, the discomfort or instability or buckling when the knee goes in and out like this, more likely to have a ligament injury of the MCL or the ACL ligament after having had some sort of an injury. Maybe they were skiing and the ski caught an edge and the knee gave in like this. But those people will typically report their buckling as an inward outward motion like that. People who have just generalized swelling in the knee pain behind the kneecap will have a feeling that their muscle is giving out like this. What happens is the brain senses that there's pain in the knee and it shuts this muscle down. Now some people can have a quad injury that holds the knee here so the knee will naturally buckle in that direction and usually continue to go. So it could be a quad problem or just generally swelling and pain inside the knee that causes that. So here's my little roundup of you know, buckling and the different types of buckling and why you have it. If you like today's video, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.